And a story that is new this morning. A new report from ICE shows hundreds of thousands of migrants are being released from detention facilities. Officials now using technology to try to keep tabs on all those individuals. Our very own news reporter Jasmine Perry tells us how it all works. Good morning, Jasmine. Good morning, Trevor. So far, a total of 216,000 migrants have been placed on the Alternatives to Detention program. Under the program, migrants are required to self-report using an app on their phone by using the SmartLink app, while others are still being monitored through an ankle GPS device. In El Paso, about 13,000 have been placed on the program, while in Harlingen in South Texas, that number is much higher with over 22,000. Nationwide, 37,000 migrants are still required to use a GPS device. 17,000 are using the phone app to self-report to no matter where they are until their court hearing. Therefore, if a migrant is called by ICE, he or she needs to respond with a selfie or a phone call. However, they must have the app. According to reports, the average length of migrants in the ATD program is 439 days. Things are at play here. One is um, there are few, fewer people being put into detention near the border. Um, the border, border arrests and detentions drive these numbers significantly. But also the amount of interior enforcement where immigration officers are arresting people for, let's say, traffic violations or, you know, in places not along the border, let's say Ohio, North Carolina, Georgia, um, those arrests and custody transfers have uh, declined since the start of the pandemic. Today, U.S. Customs and Border Protection released the number of migrants they have encountered for March. And we're seeing a big spike at just around 200, 210,000 migrants, with El Paso border agents reporting close to 26,000 encounters. That's an increase of close to 5,000 undocumented migrants. You can read the full report and other border-related stories through our partners at BorderReport.com. Reporting in studio, I'm Jasmine Perry. Back to you, Trevor. Thank you so much, Jasmine.